Hello and welcome all, this is Dice of Ages, presenting Crest Valen, The Argent Flame, episode 61, Pleased to Meet You. Without further ado, let's get into the recap of the previous episode. Horror-stricken by the murderous Mind Flayers, the party do their best to remain undetected. Hika attempts to approach and exit, but is nearly found out by a winged brain dog, reducing his bodily functions to imperceptible levels to prevent this. Log attempts to shove the blind and invisible coal up into the Sky Lounge, but there is no more room. After the creatures finish feeding on brains, they gather and summon an odd synaptic projection, portraying a hulking beast of burden carrying a massive brain upon its back. Log is able to read odd text within the projection that speaks of escaped experiments and the doctor. Eventually, the illithid trio depart the chamber, leaving the party with the barely living rakish dwarf still buried in stone. The gang rescue the dwarf and begin to head back to Steercrag, while Ermgrim comments on how witnessing mind flares this close to the surface is entirely unprecedented. The massive mobile mind is recognized as an elder brain, striking worry into the hearts of the adventurers. Making their way back through the reaching breach, and after a quick eye check, the gang are somewhat intercepted by pleased to meet you. Now, let's get back to the action. Welcome back to Crest Valen. Hello, and welcome back. Um, yeah. Uh, last we left off, um, last we left off, the Argent Flame was headed back to Steer Crag and was intercepted by Pleased to Meet You. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's what happened. And Pleased to Meet You is now leading the way into the city. Yep. Very well. I have no problem escorting you. So where are we going? Oh, where are you going? You said you were leading the way. Mm-hmm. Well, it's one... It's just, it's a tunnel. We only go one way. We're all going the same direction. Do you Where are you looking from? Okay, great. Where are you going afterward? Where, Where are we're you? headed. I see. Mm. Where are you going afterwards? How pedantic of you. Um, Where are you going afterwards? Oh. Maybe if we had real names, we could talk about them like this. Real names? You don't like to give us answers, so why should we give you answers? Questions sharpen the mind. Answers solve riddles. Oh, but answers are ambiguous. They can be so many different things. Uh, 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 the so same can question so can, can questions. have so many different answers. And answers. And they can still all be correct. Answers can lead to more questions. That's true, do. as we are engaging in this discourse currently. So are you going to walk down this tunnel or not? Are we walking I mean, we can, uh, He's walking backwards do. as he's okay. looking at you. He's, he's, he's kind of, you Just know, kind of like... <laughs> yeah, he very much down. is like keeping his eyes on us. Oh, doing sure, like yeah. the like tour guide walk. Or something. So yeah, essentially yeah, we are... Walking. Yeah. We are sharpening our blade against each other's blades. Our minds against Mentally each other's speaking. minds. Verbal yeah. sparring. Yeah. Have Was. you been having any luck here? Here? In town. With my job? Yeah. Um, well, it's hard to put a gauge on it entirely until the job is done, but I do believe that I am living up to my reputation. Good for you. And you? We didn't really have an end goal in, in mind when we arrived. Unless you know of a way to make more money, that's always our end goal. Mm. It's a lot of people. Uh, might want to ask Tokrid. They said no. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right as well. Um, did you have fun? I wouldn't quite call it fun. Well, what is your definition of fun? Yes. Yes? Elaborate. 
had a nice camping party, right? You know, it was it was good. But it also depends on your definition of fun, because fun is like answers. It can have many different meanings. Mm -hmm. Then why don't you tell me what fun you had? A little bit of fishing. Some camping. Fishing. Mm -hmm. Some camping. spelunking too. Fishing. We, and camping. some spelunking. In the underdog. Well, you can you can fish with. You know. If you have the right bait, you can fish anywhere. We did some spelunking as well. Oh, not all of us. A given, I'm sure. <laughs> sometimes it's worms. Sometimes it's not. Worms, you say? On the end of the hook for the fishing bait. Wonderful. You are all alive plus one. I mean, Why are you asking so many questions? Why one? It's my job to ask questions. Yeah, I still covered in worm. You're right. Uh, That's up to uh -huh. you. <laughs> I would have precedited you uh. at some point. <laughs> Do we notice a different count of our people now that we're back in the city? If he's only I mean, you have one. the one extra dude. Well, but we, we have, have two. We have two extra dudes for when we left. Grim is gone. gone? Okay, right. that's why I was saying. Do we? Oh, yeah. We uh, came across a a group of likewise like-minded hunters, and unfortunately, this gentleman was the only one still breathing. Oh. That is tragic. Isn't He's it? still a little. It does shell happen shocked. quite too often. Doesn't if it? we were to put him in your care, could you take care of him? We have things oh. to take care of. Well, I'm not really a babysitter, but uh, what's your clan, sir? Like, he said something about the smaller ones. Cardra. Yes, um, older clan uh, doesn't really have doesn't have an embassy here. Doesn't have a house here. Uh, I'm sure you have relatives in town, sir. Hey, living relatives. Hey, sounds like you know where he needs to go. Then why don't you take care of him, and we'll go take care of our things. I'm it's actually trying to convince idea. him of that. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> it's like, that's not, um, I'm not above doing a good deed for someone. Uh, however, uh, before I forget, you pull out your sword. I sure do. <laughs> You're before done with I this. forget what? Uh, <laughs> Oh dear, um, are you all right? Oh yeah, I'm just fine. Are you okay? I believe I'm all right. Uh, do I look okay? Yeah. No accounting for taste, I suppose. Uh, I don't know, he, he might think you taste good. My friend. <laughs> <laughs> Is there, should we? talk about something? Is there the reason why you have drawn your sword? Oh, you know, I just don't trust people who, who I don't know their names. That's all. That's not a bad habit to get into. Mm. Fortunately, in my circles, it's important to keep that information to myself. That's fine. We're not in your circle. You could, I'm, <laughs> Again, that is something that you actually have been brought into my circle by others. Uh, Do your employers know your name? My employers know what they need to know. Hmm. So you say we've been brought into your circle by others? Yes, of course. I'm hired to do a job, aren't you? Oh, so where are your Sometimes. Job, You're a part of it. You could be a part of it. You have the potential to maybe, could be, would be, should be, maybe a part of it. And what is that part of it that you foresee possibly happening? Oh, you may be a tertiary character in a story that's being told. Ah, you, you mentioned a story. Would you like to elaborate? I love stories. I love stories too, but I am not a storyteller, unfortunately. 
Unfortunately, I'm more... if you tell it to me, I can turn it into a story. Tell oh, a story. You would like it. I never know. I've always I've I've so many stories I like. I have been kicked out of a couple taverns for telling bad stories, so I won't bore you. But as I was saying, before I forget, there is something you should know. Is it your name? <laughs> no. Mm, wonderful. But cheeky of you. Is it what your job is? No. Is it who hired you? No. Let, <laughs> a, let him answer. <laughs> I think we should know all of those things. But what we think we should know and what we actually realize what we want to know after we know the things that we think we should know okay. are often drastic. Give us your answer. Things. Just, just, what, what do you, need, what do you need to ask us before you forget? Oh, I don't need to ask you anything. I need, what do you to, need tell to tell us. You something. Okay. What is it? You think you are on the right side of things. You think you are know the whole story. You think that an individual <laughs> that you're making a lot. Of I absolutely do not think any of those oh, things. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean you individually. I mean, and I don't mean you in the royal you either. I'm speaking very generally to all those who may be listening. Okay. Continue. I, that doesn't make any sense. Is there you're either speaking to us or you're not oh. speaking to us. Is there more to what you were wanted to you say? I, I miss my days in statecraft because this just statecraft, doesn't have the same said. feel. Ah, sometimes it just, whoo, right over the head. But that's okay. <laughs> uh, You couldn't be further from the mark on this one. It makes sense for you to come home. We're all from different places. Mm -hmm. Whose home <laughs> should we be going to? <laughs> Did my family fi fi figure out what I'm at? That's weird. I don't have a home. I have anymore. Unfortunately, that was all the information I was given. I wasn't pre prepared for a response. Who, who gave you the information? You don't even need to. Can you, you give know the answer to that question? Can you give a description of the person who gave you the information? I cannot. Then how do we know which home we're supposed to go to? Can I like roll to see if Ermgrim or anyone is nearby? Uh, sure. Yeah. Like, to see if I hear anyone nearby. Sure. Um, that is a twenty-four. Twenty-four. You hear him. He's turned himself invisible and he's chilling nearby. Okay. Cool. Um, Does can I tell if can I roll like an inside check to see if um, on an invisible person? No, not on him to see if. Please to meet you. Please to meet you has clocked that. Ooh, Ooh look that. at this secondary. Uh, so a tertiary inside check. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Is he like looked at that look at that area or like? Um, yeah. Let's see what you get. <laughs> I don't know. I'm fucking know. That's a crit. So a twenty-eight. You're shitting me. <laughs> nope. Beautiful. <laughs> He's fully not talking to any of you right. that he can see. He's fully not talking to any of you. He's. I mean, where? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, or, pleased to meet you knows things that, pleased to meet you knows because they know them. Um, there's a lot of things like there's a lot of it's it's very it's they're by design a very very hard uh, individual to read but you understand that this person like uh, they appear to be somewhat of like an information broker and all these other things and all these other bounty hunters they find people they do what they they, they, they do whatever they were told to do at, at, in the presence or to or for or f from that person and then they move on to the next thing whatever it is that's what they're doing and right now this is what the this is the directive they've been given and you're kind of getting that sense so i'm getting the sense that they weren't like put a hit on Hermgrim or like something um you know what with the natural 20 i'll say that if if pleased to meet you wanted to be hostile in this moment there's two things that you know about that. One, they're a little outnumbered, so they know this wouldn't be the smartest move for them in the current in the current situation if they were ganged up on. Two, it doesn't seem that in the moment they have any hostile intent. They don't seem to be. It seems like there is. Um, they 
are valuing valuing information and the dissemination of said information or the gathering of said information far more than an actual action. Okay. There's it, this, it's far more valuable in this okay. situation. And it seems like they are also very, I'm not going to put myself at risk for anything that I have not been paid for. This is what I've been paid for. Okay. So they're talking very much to Ermgrim. Uh, you kind of get in that sense, yeah, okay. for sure. Cool. Um, and the in so they're talking, this information that they're giving is going to, like, going to Ermgrim, and they were probably paid to, like, re relay this message. Something like that. Um, Ish. Here's the other thing. This, what you're, with your natural 20 insight, you're getting, this person has zero allegiances. None. Whoever pays them more and tells them to do whatever they will do. That means if somebody pays them to do something and then somebody pays them the opposite to do something else, they'll do the other thing. Mm -hmm. There is a code when it comes to like urban bounty hunters and stuff like that, that this is person that um, there's, there, but they all have their own personal code about things they will and will not do as far as conflict of interest or harming children or whatever yeah. uh, along those types of things. But this, um, the ambiguity you're getting from this person is that you don't know how many people have hired this person to do however many things. So this person could be, so pleased to meet you, could be doing multiple different things through multiple different angles and all they are is a pawn that's being moved but they are aware of that and they know that and they can control being the pawn and being self-aware of being the pawn. It allows you to have control over these other people's plans. So yeah. there could be more than one force acting upon pleased to meet you and all they are is a mouthpiece for that for, for who knows how many forces. So yeah. perhaps at one point they were they were um, hired to track Ermgrim down. Maybe now someone else telling them to send messages, and, they, and then maybe somebody else telling them to keep an eye on you. You don't know. Okay. There's a lot of there's a lot of moving parts here. Yeah. Um, the the good news here's the best news that you get from that mm -hmm. natural twenty is that this person is not your enemy, mm -hmm. and for the right price they could be your ally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, with the mention of statecraft, is he wearing or anything or anything like that that calls out to me that would give me an idea of potentially where he's from mm. or anything like that? Roll an insight check for me. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna look at him and I'm gonna say, "Who's the last person you told your name?" That's a very sly question. No. I'm almost apt, I'm almost persuaded to tell you, but that would be telling. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to know your name anymore. I don't care. Very well, then why ask? I'm just curious how long you've gone without it. Hmm. Well, I see you found my insecurity. <laughs> <laughs> Must be lonely not having a name. Uh, it has its perks. Since you're not going by that, are you the same person that that person was? Uh, what was your insight check? Uh, 18. This is 18. just me talking. Cool. Sir, so, yeah. Um, so I'm going to say, by design, this person's outfit, the way they are, is meant to be ambiguous. They are supposed to be someone that is, that is meant to be, uh, like, hunter, urban bounty hunter, that kind of thing. Like, someone who does a job, someone who's hired to do a thing, hardy, knows what they're doing. So average seasoned, you don't even notice but them. So average you don't notice them, exactly. But you also notice that the fit in which they wear, like their cape and their cloak, looks like they knew how to carry themselves in a, in a house of repute. They still go to the right tailor. Yeah, they still <laughs> go to the right tailor. Things fit nicely. Nothing, nothing on their person is scavenged. It is tailored. It, but there's nothing on them that screams like a personal curio that would stand out kind of no, thing. No, no, like no insignias of houses, no colors. This, this, here's the deal. Between Hika and, and, <laughs> and Cole, 
You guys understand? This is a straight up spy. This guy is a spy. He is a. He is. He is a. It is. It is his job to do statecraft. It is job to find information, disseminate information, and anything that he like spycraft would entail. That's his job, and he does it with not only impunity but with expertise. Full spy. Hmm. Also, two things you know about the ideas of spies: do not get in trouble with a spy because the spy will fuck you up. Because a spy, one, has a network and uh, knows exactly how to get you where it hurts the most. If you're going to do anything with a spy, make sure they disappear permanently kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, so, and, and two, if you're on good terms with the spy, that's a good thing. Like, you, you having a friend is a spy, that's not, is not a bad thing. But they are entirely, they're very whimsical creatures. They'll do whatever they need to as long as they can paint enough. Um, so... I'm sorry. I was like, yes, so you've gotten into my, you found my insecurities. You're, you're growing on me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I am excited to see how you turn out. We have another friend that grows on people. Talks <laughs> <laughs> to him too. You, 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 you will be lonely. Wait, anymore. figuratively or no? Uh, literally, literally, he, he grows on things. You have a bunion. Uh, mm. fungus. A fungus. Mm -hmm. Cole's gonna like let people fungus. know, like definitely let everybody in the group know he's a fucking spy. Like, be careful um, with him. Um, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, you want to like yeah, clock everybody in their did. brain? Um, sure. If you ever meet a collective named Ankyline, let him know. Collect a collective, you said a fungus. Yes. A collective of fungus named Ankyline. You are a colorful bunch. Let them know we said hi. More than you know? <laughs> well, if we can ever do anything that is mutually beneficial for each other, you should let us know. Now that you mention it, could you put that sword away, please? Not so sure that would be mutually <laughs> beneficial yet. I'll put it away. <laughs> I am an office. I am not an individual. I'm sure that you have figured this out by now. No. I do my job best when I remain not an individual, but an office. And I assure you that if I do my job better, we all win. Not just one nation or the other nation or one group or good or evil or I promise, things need to go in an orderly fashion. Order is important. So is whimsy, but whimsy is just another form of order for people who don't, want to, don't understand one other person's order. It, I understand chaos, how important order Chaos is still order, because chaos is still something that's happening along a def definitive route. You still call it chaos, it has a definite, I'm getting Order, order and order. Chaos. It's been a while oh. since I. Ordered it. chaos. This is very important. They're both Two sides, sides of the, of the same table. coin, exactly. Mm -hmm. They are both Mechanus, just the blind leading the blind. Except when we talk just, about the heat death of the universe, that's a little different, but you know. Well, that's more of an existential threat. No, it's a, it's a scientific thing, but whatever. It's, yeah, it's an existential and scientific <laughs> predetermined. Yeah, I would love to. I'm enjoying this. This is, <laughs> this is wonderful. Since we're being friendly, a friendly warning. Yes. Guard your brain if you plan to stay here much longer. Buy a helmet. Buy a few helmets. I believe I get your meaning. Did. Okay. Then may I, peer, may I peer further and say, is this an immediate threat to the salvation of this town? It depends on how you define salvation of a town. Mm -hmm. Define incursion. Depends on what you mean by threat. Some people don't always see threats the same way. But I think that would be... We left idea. yesterday, we returned today. We encountered interesting things within that short of a journey. I can get your meaning along those lines. 
I want to. It's frustrating when you want answers and all you have is questions. It's not the same. <laughs> it's just a little, I miss it so much. I just, I wish you could just have a little, oh, it's intoxicating. There's something about it, just playing the game, it's just a, it's like playing with fryer. I like it. Fryer? It's okay. fire. <laughs> it's like playing with Cole, fire. Cole will actually look at <laughs> me and go, I know what you're talking about. It is exciting. I suppose you would, although you are still very young. That's why I still make mistakes. A lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing is to I'm going to send to you, them. well, if I would stop listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> that would. The most important thing about mistakes is to learn from them. That would require intelligence. Uh, <laughs> yes. Speaking of intelligence. Yes, speaking of intelligence. Mm -hmm. I am privy to a lot of information that most are not. This, pr this information is kept with me, on me, and in me for a purpose. It, it, Never mind, never yeah. mind, not. Nope. Not important. <laughs> that sounds uncomfortable. Geographic location <laughs> is not think important. About, don't think about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was doing that kind of thing earlier today. Uh, so. All right. <laughs> don't think about it too much. No, it's all I'm thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> Having said that. I mean, with healing magic, it wouldn't be that difficult. I am always <laughs> on the look for more information because it makes my job easier, it makes my existence easier, and allows me to continue on, continue on existing in this office, in this capacity. So, I have learned from you that you could be a source of said information, and I could also be a source of said information. So, shall we trade? What are you offering? What would you like to know? Of course, being that I am the broker, I need to deem that your information is worthy enough for any trade. And how so do you, uh, there until must you be make a good an faith offer, gesture. Until, we make, until you make an offer, you have nothing to trade, as far as I know. No, no goods mean there's nothing to trade. What? Look, look into yourself and you look at me. What would? Look into yourself and then look at me again. <laughs> and then say, Say that, do you really believe that I don't have things to offer? Do you really, in, in your heart of hearts, in your head of heads, however tiny that may be. Twig is gonna turn I'm into <laughs> pleased to meet you and just start like mimicking him. And, and, and like, ex <laughs> ah, well, like, 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 like above and beyond, like, as just super extra. Him, just mocking yeah, okay, him. I love it. Like, I, I'm here for this. This is great. I yes. love this. I. As my father I know it's said, meant as a joke and you're trying to dig me, but you know I'm kind of into it. Like, I, This has been the most fun I've had in like the past couple months, I'm not gonna lie. As my father always said, a merchant can promise you as many goods as he can, but uh, until they're in front of you, you can they fill really me with don't as many have as many as you want. You don't so. have any goods until I can see them, unfortunately. Uh, what well, would unfortunately, the trade, the goods that I trade in aren't visible. corporeal. What would proof that a legendary mythological creature was actually a real creature be worth to you. I'm How many nations would this affect? Uh, all of them? Yeah. Regional, district, national, continental? International. Worldwide. Yeah. We have inquired them quite far apart. Are we talking about physical evidence? Yes. yes. Scientific evidence? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Magically verifiable, verifiable evidence. evidence. Yes. But until we have more from you, I'm afraid that's all we can share. My question time. is what would that type of information be worth to you? Things are worth as much as people will pay for them. Unfortunately, as much as the Economics 101 courses have destroyed our understanding of what that actually means, that is actually more often not true than it is true. And it ends up ending up, it's, it's a slow and fast decline down into slave labor as what all these other things. I don't have time to explain this all to you. 
What I do understand is that if we're going to promote a healthy work-life balance here, I... Or harmony, if you will. A harmony, yes. Uh, I enjoy self-advocation, and uh, so two things. I just have two simple rules, two rules. The information I deal in does not put me in danger, period. Uh, needs to be understood. I do not give you information that could compromise me as my, as my person, my safety, my health, or my capacity to do this office, ever. I don't. And I won't do, and I also don't do the same to you, unless you ask for it. What happens after you have the information is beyond my power. Two. I am the judge, jury, and executioner of the wills on this types of information. I have been in this position for long enough to know that the only person I can trust is myself. Dragons. You say that majestically, you mean literally? Yes. All right, I'm listening. If you... We don't know who he works for in your brain. If, we, if you pay attention to the College of the Unearthed, a paper will be published in the immediate future by a Bagra Swishstone, corroborating a find of incredibly flammable significance. I'm following. We have also encountered such a creature far to the south. A living creature? No. We know of an encounter with a living creature. And then there was the one that was discovered very You far. know of a count, uh, I'm sorry, a contemporary account? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Of a living creature of said ancient, uh, a living dragon? Mm-hmm. From what we were told, at least. Yeah. In the recent, it, it recently, a living dragon, like, we have at least four pieces of information that all corroborate. They existed, they exist. They existed, and they still exist? Some are still alive. They seem if to they ever exist. Interesting. And, okay, follow-up question. Why does nobody know about this? Discoveries? You're the information man. Well, I can tell you what I would think. Somebody's trying to keep this information from being widely known, or all information has been scoured. Otherwise, it would be well, then common if, knowledge. If that paper doesn't get published, we that, that, that will be corroboration of the cover-up. Mm-hmm. Dissemination of that said information would cause that, that information itself to be more protected. Do you see all these little layers? It, oh, it's like playing a, a game with so many different pieces. Ah. I can't get enough. Okay. I, I One, do have a copy of that, by the way. One last thing that I will tell you is that the non-living ones that we have found seem to run the length of the continent. I'm sorry, you think there is a, dr- a, 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 a dead dragon that's the size of a No, 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 we have found mm-hmm. multiple remains across the... I understand. So it's not just one spot. It is a worldwide. I understand. Um, this is the first time I'm hearing about this, too, mm-hmm. and I'm like... Oh, yeah. Huh! <laughs> <laughs> what the what is, fuck? So what is yeah. your interest in said, said? Fascination? This was just happening. A children's tale happens to be a real thing. I start mm-hmm. polishing my spear. Um. Oh, oh, I mean, oh! Oh. By the way, you... Weave better stories than you think you do, just so you know. You leave some details. Oh, everybody out, thinks they have the best stories. I, I told you, I'm not a storyteller. You, you tend to leave some. If you could fill in I'm the details, I'm a vault for you information. Be a very just, good storyteller. Okay. Listen, <laughs> little boy. <laughs> I understand you went to college and everything. <laughs> if you mansplain to me one more time about how to play a story, I'll. I'll you know, I don't not. I'm, I don't do things. further proof that they were indeed quite potent, magical creatures. Right. 
that potency does not okay so this is fade this is good this is good this means time. that we have actual ties to the origins of our world within the actual scientific evidence of these creatures okay mm. this is something that I am nothing if not a philanthropist of information I if I were you, recommend that you document this in some way and put it into an annals of time, possibly through your college, as soon as possible to make sure that others, that this information does not get destroyed uh, or rebuked or hushed in any way. But how do we know the college isn't the one doing that? And perhaps Would you like to trade another piece of information? No, not at this time. Was that information worth anything to you? You aren't the only ones looking into this. But that's not it. That's, we already know that. Give me something. Unfortunately, I need an equal trade. I feel that if we tell you more, it may violate rule number one. Indeed, and we don't want oh. that. Those that we know are looking into it are not above. If if somebody did not want breaking to break this one. information, you think what? they would harm me in order to keep it from just being the same? Not just you. So I am one of the best at what it is that I do. Whatever that means to you is entirely how you choose to take it. I do appreciate your candor. I do appreciate your concern. If you truly believe that is the case and that giving any of this information to me would put me in danger, I appreciate it if you, do, if you would keep it to yourself. I know two things that I can share with you. One, someone else is looking into this. They haven't figured out as much as you have, but they know a lot of different things, and in some cases could be seen as more than you do know. Let's say they have a further depth of knowledge, but not as a broad of a spectrum. Perhaps their, their, their knowledge is deeper, but not as wide. Um, does that make sense? It, it does, mm -hmm. and I will try and... I'm going to phrase this as a question for you. Please, I love Jeopardy. Just because I don't want to confirm anything, but this person that you speak of, would they potentially be located in the east from here? I, sir. Just to give you an idea of what we suspect. I didn't say person. I said individual, or it could be a caldera of an, a, a, a collection of individuals. It could be anything. All I, or maybe I did and I misspoke, but <laughs> <laughs> there is others that are looking into this, is what I can tell you. And there are others that have a deeper knowledge of said that things. I do not speak to more specific. I don't speak to intentions. Unfortunately, that is not something I do. I only sp I only trade in facts. The facts are someone else knows. But again, deeper, not as wide. If I were, I, one of the one of the products that I do supply, I could arrange a meet. Perhaps some sort of communique between you two? Was this the two this, parties? Was this the second part of knowledge that you wish to impart to us for that trade, or is this oh, something no. else? The other part of knowledge that I can tell you is that, um, yes, you know, dragons exist, for sure. We know. We've always known. But. Proving it has been a different task. Someone, or some party, or some, we don't know, Someone, something, noun, insert noun here, <laughs> has made it difficult to do so. For what purposes? That's not something I know about just quite yet. Someone has scoured this information. Something, some noun has scoured this information. Uh, for some reason, They don't want it to be known that common knowledge is that dragons originated here or caused to have to do with the creation of the world and magic and all this other nonsense. Uh, throw things into cataclysmic. It's far easier if they just pray to the gods, the gods give them what they, they want. Get rid of the primordials. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Now, that's a different question. <laughs> that's our other interest as we stumble across this land. Have you heard of the Great Pumpty? <laughs> <laughs> Very powerful. <laughs> I a... believe I have. Is that you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It was not. No. no. We have heard of the Great Pumpty. We had nothing to do with that. Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> Group deception check. <laughs> Actually, we can honestly say that considering <laughs> we went out of our way to try and put a stamp to stop. I guess Trishani yeah. didn't know. No, Trishani no. was the one that. I, I, I absolutely just let it <laughs> happen. It oh, happened yeah. no, and I leaned I into no, it. Spread it no, you wrote the extra thing yeah. in the library. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. No, I definitely. I mean, Cole, <laughs> Cole actually tried to stamp out Poop D when it was starting, so Cole could say that with a straight face. A, a little tidbit of information if you want to know. Um, there are actual creatures out there, and there are parts of this this great wide universe that we are entirely on. Sure. When someone believes in something strong enough, it can become real. Isn't that Wild. I mean, it's like even if something is truly false, if enough people believe in it and believe in it fervently, it becomes fact. Isn't that fucked up? Isn't that so messed up? That's magic. Oh, uh, that sounds like storytelling. Hmm? I take a look at Shakar. <laughs> <laughs> up and down, so, and like. If you have just, a this, just be careful. Just be careful. That's all I was going to say. The, where, where have you heard it about it from? Just because we heard about it in Sasso is where it's we heard my it. my job. Oh, I was just seeing if you had heard about it elsewhere as well. Didn't you remember one of my rules? I don't give up my sources. That's why I said. So that's why I told you where you we are heard just it. just as protected as everyone else that I get my information from. Mm -hmm. I feel oh, facts. If it had spread oh. from where we had last encountered it, I, I know a lot of things. It's my job to know as many things as possible. How about this? Let's. Yes. You mentioned you're interested in dragons. You mentioned you're interested in history. And you mentioned that you're interested in cults. Hmm. It's not the cult. It's the per se. It's a uh, fan base. Uh, <laughs> fan base. I have something for the you, sir. The yeah. I know what you are. I know where you come from. Shh. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> I know who you follow, personally. And how would you know that? Something about, oh, a heat through a snowstorm. I believe they called it the warm blizzard. Hmm. Something about the breath of welcome, even on the coldest of winter's days. So that's what it means. <laughs> Want to trade? <laughs> <laughs> So what is it that you'd like to know? Because I don't know anything. Surprise me. Give me, give me any, give me all you got. I know that we are of the same ilk. We both do the jobs we need to do, and we reap the benefits. What? Do you want to know? So I reach into a satchel and I pull out a, a letter, an envelope that has a little seal on it. Do you know what this is? May I? Sure. Takes it, pops it open. This is the receipt mm -hmm. that you got. Mm -hmm. This is a receipt of deposit for the main bank of the main, one of the branches, actually, no. This is uh, to 
full more bed. The Tarquin's trust in full more bed. A deposit of quite a large sum of money. This is well. There is more here, but I need something from you now. And what would you like from me? I told you I don't know anything. You know. I think you more know than I think you know more than you think you know. The names of things are very powerful. I want to know the names of the things that you hold dear. The names of the things that I hold dear. Yes. I want to know this whatever is noodling in the back of your mind, that you, you guard something, what is it? What is it that you're keeping? What value do you hold such high in reverence? What do you keep? referring to my friend right here on my side? I can't answer that question, only you can. What do you keep? keeps this balm that he sometimes rubs into his scales. Oh. <laughs> it makes him real shiny. Mm -hmm. Good for the scales. Yeah. Well, this must be you are <laughs> what you are for some reason, right? I'm a dragonborn. Wonderful. We're getting somewhere. Well, don't let me stop you. What? Why? Why what is your purpose? Who do you serve? What is all this? Come on. You're going to make me drag it out of you? You know who I serve already. I want names. Name is a powerful thing. What imports would that be to you? It is trade value. Currency, sir. Could this information again go against your number one rule, though? Overall? I don't believe so. No. Because not too many serve who I serve, so it could lead directly to me. Uh, that's why I buy it valuable, because not many people. Rare information is valuable because it is rare. That's the definition. I don't, well, I suppose that's your prerogative. But the names are powerful things. And I just wanted to know all the names you know. Can you read this right here? And I pull out my sword? Yes. What does it read? The name, <laughs> we just discussed this. And says the same words that you call. I know of that name. I'm aware of that name. What else? Do you know any other names for this, the one that you serve? I don't know what you're talking about. Very well. 
disappointing, but not entirely unexpected. This receipt is for is a deposit slip for the Fulmorbed branch of Tarquin's Trust. I could tell you who deposited it, how old it is, but that costs something. Do you already know this information? Or no? If you don't, then... But if you do, there's no need to barter. It's entirely up to you. I, I do not force people to do anything unless it is entirely necessary. And I prefer not to. Hey, Argus. Yeah? Do that thing with your fire. Which thing? <laughs> Where it changes colors. Thaumaturgy? Yeah. <laughs> Into silver or what? Which color? <laughs> You're just looking at me like, what are you talking about? I'll, I'll produce flame and I'll turn it white, black, red, blue, and then I'll turn it off. It's potty time? There are keepers out there. I mean, oh, we're we playing this game now. Okay. Wonderful. I thought this was your favorite game. Well, we were going to go drinking I, I, I so long as it's party time. <laughs> Log, it's party time, right? I mean, do I think so? And he's still... Uh, <laughs> he just hurts. <laughs> <laughs> we're, back from, we're back from doing a job. It's party time. I mean, yeah, we need a fucking drink. Of what name he's asking you for? If you want yeah. to do... The, the White Flame. The Keeper of the White Flame? Yeah. <laughs> Did I not write that down? <laughs> no. Ermgrim and you were talking about it. Ermgrim said, well, shit, that's no, right. the keeper of the white flame. Your yeah. deity is known as the keeper of the white flame. You've heard of the Herald of Ash? Yes. She has an alternative title. Oh, I see. Um... I see where you're going with this. He showed you some very interesting colors that fire. Yeah, I, I, I'm not that dense. Okay. I, I, I understand. I. Could you explain it to me then? <laughs> He's. There are old. There's old old. Lore about keepers of flames of different colors, and uh, in order to. Separate. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. You, I'm sure all of this information you know already. The. What color would a blizzard be? Thank you. That's what I was looking for. But I want to hear you say it. <laughs> I can't deal in it if I'm not given permission by the individual whose, could, whose life could possibly be harmed by it, if you believe so. But if you choose not to, I okay, it's the like, keeper of the white flame. <laughs> <laughs> Alias is like, oh my god, fine, <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> You're gonna make I us actually I just, fucking I just see the picture of Alias. Like, oh, fine. Yeah. <laughs> you see, like you, you like seem like <sighs> refreshing. That one tasted wonderful. I love this game. Huh. This is good. This is very good. Uh, so we know where all four of them are. You this do. This could mean something. Well, I do. What well, we do, but it's complicated. How many of you are in there? <laughs> <laughs> That's the right question. Now you're thinking. Uh, Me? Well, look, how many Surprising, of us are in here? What, what? How many of us are in here? I can do this now. <laughs> <laughs> that is the right question. Um, wonderful. Oh, okay. This is very exciting. Okay. <laughs> this was deposited by an old, a very old elven family. Uh, it is known I believe, let me double check, as he goes through his mind palace, and I do mine. Uh, 
Control uh, control, yeah. <laughs> control and <laughs> the magic words to, to enter your mind palace. Control F. Yeah, we still need to work on my 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 castle. Yes. Thing. Yes, that's it's the better Is yours yeah. is yours even a mind hut yet? We still need to put those walls up, don't we? Yeah, I need to figure out how to like get it's on drive. So I, need, I need to find the door. Oh, no. It's going to take look, some, look, some time. It's just like most buildings. If you can't find the door, just make the door. Close the patch. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just light it on fire and walk through. That's, no. that's my face. That's my <laughs> no, it's an internal no, no, flame. No. We've done stupider things. We have, li- we have literally lit your face on fire. We, we have. We have. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I wasn't get really there for that. But but we use the fire to get into your mind palace. Uh-huh. We literally this. went and, in the fire. And we yeah. let things out of your mind palace. We're not doing that again. No. Oh yeah. That's that, that was, you don't know any of it. I know. I know. I, I wasn't. But like Theo wasn't also there right. for that. But Sofka lost like one wisdom, and I was sad it was about it. This is <laughs> This deposit is under the care of House Falant of Sarnle. Falant, can you please stop? House Falant, P H O L O N T. P H O, you said? P H O L O N T. House Falant. It is. You said Sarnle too, which we know oh, is the eldest. Sarnle. Yeah. What's this deposit thing from? It is registered under House Falant. They are the religious leaders of, well, they're the, their family is mostly noted in the clergy of Sarnla. This is a sizable amount. What looks like funds to, again, I don't deal in insinuations, only facts. Lots of money. They're tied to the church. You do the math. Which church? Log, log, log. Just the they can do the math for us. Do the math. Um, like, what am I the adding? Corlon. Yeah. The church of Corlon. You say you know where all the keepers are. Now I do. Yes, I know you're right there, yes. And I know you're there, too. I just can't see you. Then who told you who I was? It, it's, have you not been listening? It's I my know. literal job to know as much as I can about every little thing. Then do you know what gift I've been bestowed? Well, um, I can take a guess, but I don't deal in guesses. Oh, but they're so fun to hear. Okay, I'm going to disillusion you of the moment if you think that I am just who I am. This is not every person that I am. Oh, That's we know bad. that. Okay, good. We know so others. Once you understand like you. that there is more to this than this, you'll under- you'll have a little bit more of a comprehensive understanding that there are things. There are very few things beyond my realm of collection. Wait a minute. Are you just another one of him? Uh, uh. Oh, no, your host friend? Ooh, tawdry copy. Ugh. So, well then, is he a copy of you, or are you a copy of him? My most flattering interpretation of what he's doing is a, like a copycat burglar version of what, I'm, what I do. I think his, it's tawdry and... Mm. Tasteless. Because it's emotional. Because he wasn't the first one to do it. <laughs> well, yeah. Are you someone else who's already done it? I'm the person who does it. Oh, goodness. It's just, I, I think the hardest part about this is wanting to tell you and literally not being able to. I think you can. Although it's against the rules of the office. 
aren't rules made to be broken? We do it all the fucking no, time. They're meant to, no, what the cool? No, who told you that? Order is important. Rules are meant to be followed. Um, that's, <laughs> that's, that, that is actually literally one of the main lessons they teach us at the college is rules are only there well, when needed. Well, that explains you. Then. <laughs> I, I, have, I have seen this one break many different rules of the universe. Yeah, I argue with it. It's fine, you know. Uh, well, the rules are I meant to be you're broken. Bending them more than you're breaking them, because if you're breaking them, there'd be a lot more. Well, oh no, there's more. times that they break them, and it's not good. It's definitely, <laughs> I, I'll agree with you. Sometimes the uh, consequences, but you know. If we had valuable enough information, <laughs> would that supersede the rule? Um, I. Of not telling us. I don't know. I've never happened that. Have that happened before? Who I am has been the biggest secret I've kept from as far as I can remember. This is a very long tunnel. I will say. <laughs> I'm walking very slowly. I was. I thought we had like stopped, but <laughs> which is makes it even more awkward because we're having this clandestine no, I, thing in the middle of a tunnel that other people could be passing through. Um, look, we'll meet again someday, won't we? Exactly. That's kind of what I was going to do. It's like, there's only so much time I have, but. Uh, do, do you really want to be seen leaving the tunnel with us anyway? I've done what I needed to do. Nobody has more information over me than I have over them. <laughs> you think it's my rule. It doesn't work like that. What if right. people don't care? What are they going to do? Bad things. That's my point. Catch me if they can. And they would have to catch all of you, wouldn't they? Mm. Oh, you're catching <laughs> Oh, it's wonderful when I see the little <laughs> machinery starting to work in those little brains. I love it. It's like a hamster running on a wheel, except they're also carrying puzzle pieces in the mouth. They put them all in the mouth at once, and hopefully they all meld together. Never mind. Uh, but we don't ever you. want to trade again, though. Is there a certain spot or a place that you or yourselves like? Um... Any way to get oh, a hold you're of wondering yourselves. if you can summon me. Well, or not summon, find just you. find you. I'm not, I'm not suggesting you me. be summoned. Or at least find Don't a way Don't call me, I'll call you. That's how this works. Oh, I'll totally call you. Oh, oh, don't <laughs> pester me with that. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's what happens when you meet me. <laughs> we now, meet you. <laughs> you don't know my name. I know your face and what you are and what you call yourself. <laughs> he can get the hold of you. You gave us a moniker. I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a deal. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you may only converse with me if you have something of equal or greater trade information to offer. If I don't like that, I'll just change my name again. What, what if we... And then you'll... You'd be have able to, to change, change your face and your person. I'll change... <laughs> Paltry. Okay. If we decide to contact you to be put in contact with that person we were discussing earlier, would that be something worthwhile to you? Oh, uh, the person. Oh, About oh, your, your little brew friend. Um, listen. You know, sometimes I get a little, I get a little hyper focused. Part of the job, unfortunately, kind of a symptom. Um. I personally don't care about him at all. I don't care. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll give you a freebie. If somebody's looking for him, they don't want him here. Oh, I, that's not what I was talking about, but thank you for the freebie. You're welcome. Uh, but the, other people want him home. Uh, it was more but talking it's, of the person who doesn't have the breadth of knowledge we have, but has more focused knowledge. Dead. Oh, very powerful indeed. Well, I, facts, those are facts, very powerful. No, indeed. but you talked about uh, us getting in contact. With yes, you mm -hmm. talked about putting us in contact with Would you like to? 
No, no, I was saying if we wanted to contact you later to get in contact with them, would that be worth us, worth that sending? Uh, sure, as long as you have something to give me. Can we prepay for one? Cole's gonna some credit. Cole's gonna open his <laughs> eyes really wide. So it's he the sees most all fun I've had <laughs> in a long time. Cole's gonna open his eyes really wide so he sees all of his red irises and go. I have a feeling we can probably come up with something. Is there a story there that I should? There's talk always about? a story. Okay, but facts. I want facts. I can give you what facts I know, but only when they're worth something. Here's a fact for you. The mongrel fled. Hmm. Where did you hear that? Where have you heard that? Wouldn't you like to What know? is it worth? He gets up right in your face. <laughs> um, like right up in your face and like towering over you and almost like pinning you to the wall. Where have you heard that? Whoa, Cole's gonna whoa, put whoa. it directly in his mind. We were being friendly. What does yeah. it matter where we heard that? Uh, you kind of snap him out of it for a moment. Uh, and he's like, I think, pardon me. I think that just showed what you think is important. Tell us what you know, and we'll tell you perhaps the same, or it's what you want. That goes against my rule number one. I can promise you it's a very good story. Oh, that whole branch goes against rule number one, does it not? There are some things that are better left unknown. <laughs> that would have been good to know a while ago. <laughs> oh, would that Tell have been us. good to know? It's a little too late for that. If you continue to tread this path, I'm not a. F I cannot follow. I don't touch. I deal. The problem is, we're already on this. It wasn't a path I chose to tread. What if we did more than touch? I'm going to regret this. <laughs> you have to elaborate. Consume? <laughs> um, let it into our minds? I wouldn't say let. Wasn't talking about you, Log. <laughs> you asked him if there was a story behind the look. Mm -hmm. Told you it's a very good story. We are walking your feet down the path of that answer. I have to be very careful about what I say next because if you know what I know, some things are set in stone while others are fluid. If you've already heard of the mongrel that fled. We are in an iteration where things are not we already have very low chances. We kind of already knew that as well. The problems everywhere are connected. Yeah, well, everything's connected. That's like saying everyone's special. No, it doesn't matter. Oh dear. If this is this is one of those fluid things, though. This is a weird thing. I, I um, I believe I have to go, but I. I I'm afraid whatever it is that I may tell you next may change the course of history as we know it. I don't know what it means. Uh, I cannot see that far. But I do know that... Telling us nothing will also change the course of history. Is the course of history necessarily going on? But it's the most control history? I have. So steer us in the correct direction. The most control I have is to be... Say nothing. Is to say nothing. This iteration is new to me. 
So I'm going to, I'll give you one piece of advice. If you encounter this again, destroy it, get rid of it. How can it be destroyed? If we, yeah, if we were to encounter it, how could we destroy it? Because this is what happens when you try to destroy it. I can't tell you anymore. Can you not tell us or you not know? That's what I can't tell you. How many iterations have you seen, personally? If that's... You're asking the right questions. Oh, I knew they were right about you. I just had to prove it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, How can I... Oh, so many rules. Does it matter if you say it out loud? Or can you? Oh, it's any form of communication. It doesn't really matter. Um, the polls sometimes are the best part of the <laughs> Well, it's. <laughs> <laughs> Claude <Claudia> Dyer <Dinesh> just errantly. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it happen. <laughs> it, was, it was on top of. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> I want you, I, I'm sure you understand the dire situation uh, it, it seems to me that all of you have been affected by whatever this is some more than others okay well that's already too much um, this goes about beyond my scope of vision is what I'll say goes upon what I can see and goes beyond what I am willing to see. See, you say? Understand, comprehend, they are words synonymous with each other. Do you see an engulfing nothing? No, an engulfing nothing is by definition something, but I understand what you're saying. You're on the right track. Or the wrong one, depending on your perspective. The drag of the tentacles is always disturbing, too. Oh, gross. Um. No hentai for you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> the things I've been into. So I have, oh. <laughs> I've learned from her that space is malleable. There's not just one, but many. Mm. Mm-hmm. Space is also tied to time. Mm. Mm-hmm. By transitive property, there are many. Mm. And you keep saying iteration. Mm. Do you see these oh, iterations? The right yeah. Never Fascinating. Yeah. I've had these visions of what. Never mind. You, you are. Have you, you ever met? Asking all the right questions. I just can't give you any. Have answer. you ever met yourself before you knew ah. it was yourself? <laughs> what a narcissistic question. Uh, yes. <laughs> Interesting. Zamzags everywhere. <laughs> I said I was into many things. <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? Stop focusing on that, you children. Um, Have you ever met someone that you swear is like you, but just like a different you? If that's the case, why didn't you teach Log the difference between five and six? We tried. It he was, did. It was, yeah. I mean, yeah, eventually. Yeah, but it was some other guy, wasn't it? No, it was him. Just a different I'm one. I'm sorry, I'm just, I keep... Okay. I can't tell you anymore, but I want to tell you so much. Why, why, is it, why does that hurt so much? Did we, did we prepay for a, a, a singular conversation? Um, no. That's not how this works. You can't And how come we can give you all this information and you give us nothing in return? You, no, you give us nothing. You act like you're giving me a gift. <laughs> I am an office. It's not a gift, it's a I change. Exist, all of this information exists in the either. Whether or not it's being kept with me and within me and without me is... Knowledge is, is valuable to you. We gave you knowledge. Are you... We did give you a gift. Okay. 
Are you what? from this world? Are you from from this from this planet? This yeah. plane. This this world? Yes and no. Are you from this iteration? Yes and no. Come on, Trishenny. You know that was too simple of a. I know. I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. I was trying. Names are important, is what I'll leave you with. Words are important. There is a reason why those strings of words the mongrel fled is so powerful. Like a trail that leads you somewhere, a sentence will lead you to the end of something. Nobody from the Baker's Dozen could ever read. Correct? Just the last one. Mm. I don't know. We never got we, that one. We never got that one from, from them, I believe. That was meta. I was just trying to refresh. No, we asked them about yeah, it. Yeah. I, they, they none of them have it. a log, so they couldn't read it. Yeah, when they talked to us, they couldn't read it. Have you ever met uh, Granny? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the coven. Yes. Oh. The silly, wild girls. Oh, and oh boy, they are. Well, I guess they're whatever they want them to be. Well, they, they are down a grandfather. Yeah. Just recently, his last form was oh, very is that interesting. What that feels like I was wondering why. Cephamorphosis can be quite. I believe you mean ceramorphosis. Ceramorphosis um, can be quite annoying. Yeah, that. Look I, again, facts. I don't really do the whole guessing thing. Uh, that's good to know. Um, From what we heard, Grandpa got his brain eaten. Mm. Still wonder how it tasted. You would. That's almost unfortunate. They are powerful. I'll, I'll pull out my little doll. But they can sometimes be nice. You did it. <laughs> and lonely. <laughs> okay. I'm definitely coming back. Because this is fun. Have you ever met a dream weaver? Pleased to meet you. No, that, that's you. And he's talking about you, too. He knows you. He oh, knows. no, sir. Pleased to meet you. We already know your name. No, it's nice to meet another. What? I, I heard it too long. <laughs> if you think you were going to get an answer out of him, then you haven't been paying attention to this conversation. I'm, I'm like, I'm, like I'm one step behind on everything. It's okay. It's all right. Well, fuck. <laughs> 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 You don't. <laughs> it you you learned control is a is a paradigm that doesn't necessarily <laughs> exist. Hika's just been sitting here this whole time, like eyes ping ponging <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> what is going it, on? You understand that the what definition of control about? is the lack thereof, and that order is you found in the chaos. Is that? whatever is going to be will be, and you only have a very little amount of things you can actually do about it. And even that is not really a whole lot. So you understand that everything that is that happens is done because it needs to happen. So what I just heard, Log, is that we need to make sure we always have water around. Does he, yes. does he hold on to self, or does he completely... Let go. Depends. That's going to depend. That's not a fact. What you know about it is, though. Which path you took is. Uh, That's in flux now, isn't it? Leave it, buddy. <laughs> he thought. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seriously. <laughs> it wasn't like I've been staring at this for so long. I know. 
Well, we shall be going. This was so fun. I can't wait to do this Let's again. Let's do it I mean, again. I can, but I, I also can't. Um. Cool. <laughs> you may never see me again. You may never hear from me again. Or you... I can always call We'll talk you. tomorrow. We'll hear from you again. You don't know. Um. Yes. Do you know minor information? <laughs> About minor people? It's a very general question. <laughs> like, would you know? Like, like minor or minor? Like, <laughs> like or not minor. important people. Do you focus on important people? Importance is extremely arbitrary. Fine. Um, how much information would you want to know about an old friend of mine? Is there something you'd like to share? I don't know what I have. Is this something you want? Yes. Let's start with that. I would like to know if my friend Kamzu is okay. Oh. Can I get back to you? Sure. So now we will see you again. No, I've been on Invisible. I have popped out of Invisibility a while ago. Okay. I'll get back to you on that one. Thank you. You want to know whether they're still alive? Yes. I can help you with that. Oh. How? I have spells. Do you need to know what they look like? We keep saying we're going to part ways, but know. we keep having you interesting know, questions. You know That's no, no, I just this don't have it always that. ends up that way. Uh, whenever doesn't mean you can't draw you something. People that something. you know start to get a little the bit more of an intellectual them, kind of camaraderie with you know. Just you, I'm assuming you've been around for some time. Long enough. We have come across a mystery. Which one? <laughs> so many mysteries. Elves being where elves should never have been. Oh! Oh, in historical terms? Yes. From the past? Yes. Ah. It's a wealth of knowledge. That is interesting. What? Mm -hmm. Is there something you want me to add to that? Is that concerning? Is that also known? Oh, you're... I see what you're doing. You're trying to ice cream scoop lore out of me. No. Mm. Is that interesting or is that just curious? I will say. And we should, we can let it go. I. That is not a matter of fact. That is a matter of an opinion, and I don't deal in opinions. Well, the one place that we saw this was also where we saw the Mongol fled. That's a little more concerning. I'm sorry, saw? Yes. That was the word I used. Mm -hmm. I'll have to get back to you. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, you don't know, or you don't want to tell us if you know? Well, I'm not sure. If I don't very, know, that, it could mean that I don't want to know. That is a very, that is a very profound distinction. Well, you don't know if Ooh. the fact would violate rule number one. Mm -hmm. Those are... Which could be why you don't know. Because maybe some part of me knows that it does. Oh. Ooh, the chills. Doesn't that just irk you, though, that one of you knows something more than Oh, beyond belief. You need to go have a talk with that one, then. Constantly. <laughs> there may also, or may not be, a drinker of blood. Oh, vampires? Back in the world. Oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> All over the place. <laughs> Trying to help you avoid rule number one. Oh. I'll be 
be okay. He seemed like a nice guy. I know you traded information, but... Oh! Escapee! Oh, goodness. There's so much... Trying to keep it all straight. Ugh. This is... It's been a few months of chaos, let I me tell you. I understand. Okay, well, la- allow me to give you a little bit of more order to the chaos, because this, this one's for me. Okay? Y'all listening? Mm-hmm. Eyes up, right here. Wonderful. You too. That's right. Um, Just because I'm little doesn't mean to point down. Yeah, no. <laughs> we get Chiron and where Urban where we're supposed to be. Um, okay, so... This mongrel fled business? Stay not the same. Not the same. Not the same as your... as your dragon business. Not the same. Let you know. Okay? Two different things. Two different things. This... You mentioned the sisters? And the, and the grandpa? That's in there somewhere. Um... Related or not related? Well, or it could be either. Occasionally dipping their fingers in. Because of you. Him. He's a dream giver. You bring it all together, don't you? He, you pretty much. He's the linchpin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just as shocked. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, I don't think anybody could stumble into chaos quite the way you do, Log. I, I do. Have I don't even know if you we stumble into you. chaos. It's more like chaos stumbles away from you. There's a lot of stumbling going around. If you think about it, it all makes sense. It does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Though the dragons, the keepers, the flame, stop it. They're not the same as the mongrel stuff. Two different things. Two different things going on. One has to do with this world, others not so much. Make sense? Mm-hmm. Freebie, helping are you. you are you here. sure of that? I suppose I'm not really sure of anything okay. as much as I can only be sure of my own facts, but uh, again, the, the whole being 100% sure about anything doesn't make any sense, because everything's in flux, everything changes. One, one question, people pay you for information, they trade information, do they ever pay you for Forgetting information. And thus you, you could. You are asking the right questions. It also makes me wonder if something But you're not giving us any answers. Right. <laughs> or to the right cannot. questions. <laughs> and you forget I only tell you Hypothetically, the right questions. Okay. hypothetically, if someone were to currently ask you about us, is there an amount of coin we could give you right now to make your answer be, I don't know? I have no reason to tell anybody about it. Why would, why would I? Because maybe they have, never mind. Only information I give you that puts you in danger because you asked for it can, can supersede rule number one. But then in the rule number one is four. Number one. I believe that Are you was. Sure, you're number one and not like number twelve of your number ones. Oh, you're cheeky. <laughs> that's that's yeah. Was that yeah. was that's that true. was that the train of questioning you were going down? Kind of, yeah. But if, also, but if also, we were to perhaps drop a pouch of coins. Could the answer to that question be? I have never met such people. Well, not only that, but also just. You want to pay me right. for my silence? Because we don't know. It's. You can pay me to forget something. I think. But then it's gone. Yeah. Oh. And we've had such fun. I would not want to deprive you of such a good memory. Oh, no, no, no. It is gone. Gone. It's, it is no more if he's a dream waver. Were you paying to forget about something? We are forgotten. Were they? I'm sorry. I have a question for you. <laughs> you ever have a beautiful dream, vibrant, you are uh, 
oh, what's the word? When you are lucid and you create a world within it and there's fields and hills and mountains. You do that all the time, don't you? Yeah, but it's like kind of... It's usually not the good kind. It's happened a few times, but... And you lavish in it or you soak in it or whatever it is you want to do. You live in it. What happens when you wake up? What happens to that world? Well, I burn his parents' house down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's happened one time. <laughs> well, that, that, that part, that part that's one of the happy ones. But, uh, of of I all put the, out the fire. Of all the realms that exist, <laughs> who's to say that those realms don't still exist? Another right question. That comes along with those philosophical books that were always way over my head at the college. Yeah, there's like, do I have shelves or like? A few of them, yeah. So are but you? mostly it was, you know, if I'm thinking about it's the world exists because I think of it, or do I exist because somebody else thinks of it? That's just way. Oh. And then there's sort of the Schrodinger thing, where if it's not being observed and not being currently dreamed about or whatever, does it actually exist? Well, it who's who's this Schrodinger you speak of? I oh, heard don't, of don't worry about it. He was, he was some gnomish guy. He put cats in boxes. It was a what? thing. It was a silly experiment. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> We're curious. <laughs> we like to ask questions and then find the answers. A cat Let me in put a you box. in a box then with a box. I love boxes. I don't love boxes. So pleased to meet you. Are you? <laughs> if you put a cat in a box and inside this box you this, also put poison. This is insane. And then you close the lid of the box. Oh my Here, God. let me put you I in know. a box with poison and see this what is happens not okay. to you. Is, I is I the cat Is the cat alive or dead? I don't like this at all. Are you dreaming? Without right opening now? the box, is the cat alive or dead? Say? He could see through the box. <laughs> <laughs> Without looking inside the box. <laughs> this is amazing. Is the cat alive or dead? Well, he brings up a good point. Do you actually have to physically open the box to look inside of it? Or? Mm-hmm. I can't bring like the cat I said, back to life. I could bring the dead cat back. Here, I have a better Doesn't idea. it have nine Very lives? Very next day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Resurrection. Sure? <laughs> I can have yet? direction. I can offer we'll a little out. bit of direction. <laughs> All right. Can you? Yes. Your dragons, your the things that you have been investigating, that, based on the questions <laughs> you have asked me, the dragons. Investigation would And imply. your keepers of flames, they are somewhat along the same line-ish. Kind of, also not really, but of this world. The mongrel is not. Mavro is something else. This is something else. This goes beyond my purview of scope of things that I'm capable of entirely understanding. And yes, it scares me. <laughs> Us too. <laughs> <laughs> you should try dealing with it and see how much it scares you. Um, not important. Continue. Uh, there was something else, right? You had asked questions about... We talked about the grannies and... Grannies, you know, yeah. And they're kind of They're of this world, they're kind of, they're kind of in between. Um, distant cousin, maybe. Do you have any idea what would happen if one of them dies? And, or anything like that? Well, I assume in most things, when there's a power vacuum, something is bound to fill it. Another being eventually takes that place. An empty office must be filled. Can't really destroy cruelty. You said of this world and that world. What about in between worlds? What do you know about the right that? questions? You are full of all the right questions. <laughs> You're full We're of an all interesting all bunch. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a cheeky bastard. In between. That is where a lot of the more possibilities exist course. Because if you are not neither one side or the other, you have infinite options. But you can't stay there for very long. Yeah. And decision paralysis becomes... You also don't want to dip your toes outside. Plus those random faceless guys try to... Or your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
we all must make a choice at some point. Otherwise, the lack of choice in it is in of itself yeah. a choice. <laughs> it's not a good choice. I have so many questions, but I don't. I I could keep you here all day. I know. I know. You I could, really could. I could chill with you all day, but I'm. You know, you drew a sword on me one time, and I'm just like, you know. <laughs> Did we draw the, the sword, or were we showing you something There's a part a of our conversation? It was going to happen. I you, think we calculated it as good. You, know. you do come across a little shady at first. You won't even give us your Thank name. Thank you. Thank you. That's the idea. Yeah. It's, it's hard I to I could literally you keep you here all day. <laughs> so. Um. <laughs> if you don't leave, I'm going to ask you another question. <laughs> What a curious bunch. You will, too. I mean, we have the whole well wall. We have so I, many different... Like, like I said, <laughs> stay out of that mongrel fled business. That's not... Yeah, that ship has sailed. <laughs> well, undo it. Bring in the ship. You know how to get rid of this? Like we said, you tell us how to get rid of the ship, and we'll try to get rid of the ship. Can't help you with that one. Well, then how are we supposed to get rid of the ship? Build another ship. Tried that. Didn't work. That's true. That. that that's actually how it almost got away that one time. Yep. <laughs> no. I don't want to know. Tried a completely different kind of ship. That also <laughs> didn't work. Mm-hmm. I fully don't want to know. This one, I'm done. I'm going to leave I you I tried now. to deconstruct the ship. You really should, it. because I'm, I'm on the verge of another question. He will. That one will keep going. Okay. I'll leave. I'll leave. The blue dust. <laughs> Do you know how it works? <laughs> Catalyst dust. No? Okay. Well, 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 I told you, I'm going to keep asking you questions, and you will never leave. Do when you know the time the is right, you should ask him. Do? Oh. Okay. He doesn't know things. People learn. <laughs> <laughs> it took us a long time to teach him the difference between five and six. Oh, look at me now. Life. <laughs> oh, you're counting up to ten. That's great. <laughs> yeah, it just took a mongrel. I'm going to go now. I'm going to take your friend here to his clan. Hopefully some of his relatives are nearby and alive. Like he said. You ready? And hopefully he oh forgets boy. everything we said. <laughs> He's yeah. too shell shot. He's just standing there just like You're not leaving, so that means I can ask I know you another that question. That makes sense to you, it's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Stop whining at me. He's so bad. Yeah. So Toodaloo. Moonchild and he just, just wants some attention. Leaves. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we just standing here? Moonchild feels neglected. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All right. So that means he's not actually trying to kill Armgrim? Not no. now. All right. Well, so we just know that... He was just delivering a message, apparently. You know, if he would have just came out and said that at the very beginning, it would have taken a lot less time. No telling! <laughs> Pleased to see you! Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> So he can now that you know all these random facts about us. <laughs> that you don't I really guess. know anything. I mean, that I was a lot of gibberish, wasn't yeah. it? I don't know anything. <laughs> no context for any of that. Yeah. But you're We're into a lot of things. I can tell. A lot of things are in us. Like, no. No, no, no. 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 Just walk away from that Keep statement. Stuff. <laughs> Keep stuff. But you're looking for a friend? If you're looking for... Interesting times. I mean, we travel a lot, so you can always stick with us for a bit and look for your friend. Fast well, we times. Definitely try. We can. I, I can definitely try to reach out to your friend. To we can always use help. another pair of fists. Perhaps. I mean, you got to punch through a worm. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. Well, that was fun. But <laughs> I mean, the last person. And we are all looking for people, so. I. As you can see, we like finding the answers to questions. Yeah. Yeah. I do have some business to complete here, but I'll think about it. Anything we can help you with? So do we. Um, 
not much that requires any help. All right. But I'll be back. Okay. Um, do you want to point out the meeting place for the future? To at least get dinner for a celebratory? Yeah. For surviving that uh, nonsense. Yes. <laughs> celebration. Yes, exactly. Um, we didn't die. Let's eat. <laughs> Let's eat and drink. Well, that's that's what Locke and I do uh, pretty much after every adventure. We didn't die. Let's drink. We survived the day. <laughs> Let's drink. <laughs> Especially since you have lesser restoration, so we're up real fast. Um, I still never prepare that spell. Why? I always have to prepare. Well, I think we're still staying at the Boner Brine. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. we can just drink there. And the Wailing right. Mall. And the Wailing Mall. Yeah. We have two rooms. We're, we're officially staying at the Wailing Mall. Maybe a good Otherwise idea to check up on... Well, the Whisper Qualls. Whisper Qualls. But also known as the Quarry's Qualm. So, we could, could we, go we there. We latched onto that name. Go see a friend. You know, especially if you wanted that free drink tonight. I mean, I think he'd be the one to hook you up, right? No, I mean, that, like we're like free for the whole week there. Which is awesome. And, and Boots, you can always go talk to Anculine and see how uh, the worm's doing. Yeah. Check in on the bucket. Mm-hmm. Look, look, you can see if maybe he's made some new stuff yet. That's true. I have not heard from my brother in two days. That's true too. I was thinking yeah. about that with the. Uh, so I would like to make my way over person. there. Do you need the rest of us to come with you, or...? Need? No. Would you like any of us to come with you? Uh, actually, I'm going to rephrase that. Are the rest of us permitted to come with you? We can... Yes. Or do you want me to just send him a message? Are you alive? <laughs> yeah, if you can do that. Just check in on him. Because... See if he needs... Me to come rescue them again. Yeah. Cough if okay. <laughs> Why don't you figure out what you want to say to him? Why don't we go figure out where we're going to Blink drink? twice if you're safe. <laughs> hey, our cough technique seems to work. <laughs> Haven't heard from you in two days. Are you alive? Do you need rescue? Okay. Cough I, if you need rescue. I will use... Sending and say that to Grey Glove Silvervein. <laughs> <laughs> um, great, you send that short, sweet message, pithy, to Grey Glove Silvervein. <laughs> <laughs> this is Grey Glove Silvervein reporting in. Uh, no. Um, it's like, oh, I'm. Um, I'm alive. It's about to go down. I'm excited. Uh, miss you? Mm -hmm. uh, thanks. Time has come for the moon to eclipse the sun. The time has come for the moon to eclipse the sun. Oh gosh. He says shit's about to go down. There isn't a temple to Pelor in this town, is there? Um I don't there, think so. No, there was one. Back in Minheim, but that's because it was out. It was outside. That's what my brain went. Do to. I know if there's going to be an eclipse? Like, would I know based on my moon stuff if there's going to be an, an actual eclipse soon? Um. Right. I have to pull that up. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to go down. Well, he's still alive for now. Sounds like he's about to do something stupid, though. Yes, it does. It runs in the family. Maybe his stupid thing will be quieter than yours are. Doubtful. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way he was talking. 
Remember, the last stupid thing he did was dig up that wolf statue. So... Just because some people told him to do it. <laughs> like, you know, it's just... <laughs> Yeah, hey kid, to take this shovel, yeah, go into the middle of the <laughs> festival, and just start digging a hole. Well, I mean, we were Nobody will know. Out for him there too. Yeah, but you know, there is a solar eclipse in three days. So I would share that information on the thirty-third. Do you know how that affects you? Uh, like, is that going to be a super terrible night? Well, I mean. I, this will be the first eclipse where I've been like this. Or is that so, like super powerful because the moon is super powerful? I, I, this will be my first Do eclipse need, like this. All right. Need extra buckets of water. That would probably wouldn't hurt. We should probably make sure you're outside at that point. And you stay away from the fires, and that way you don't have to put it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let us put right, it. Don't out. let me see. <laughs> While we're walking through town, from the fire. that's what I did. When I, I want to do my, my forest fire out. tinkering <laughs> camp <laughs> check. Yep. I just didn't see. Is there like <laughs> symbols? Uh, yeah. You said that one, that cogs. Blueprint like. I understand what you're looking for. Um, go ahead and roll a perception check. Is there? Or best. Yeah, that's perception for this one. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Um, you. Can I Da Vinci code anything? You're trying else? to Da Vinci code some stuff. Um, so it's really interesting because that's like Da Vinci coding, like looking too far into stuff is exactly how this stuff is 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 done about. So you'd be like, huh. The scar on that piece of rock kind of looks like it's pointing me in that direction. And everybody else would be like, you're reading way too much into this shit. It's just someone just scuffed their shoe and go like, but it actually ends up panning out. Um, it's weird, it's crazy stuff. Um, only because it's for specifically those people that have those types of minds. Mm -hmm. um, you, um, you find some stuff. You find that, like, oh, well, you know, that the... This, the the slope of this incline like lines up too close to the Fibonacci sequence. This must have been designed. This must have been by design. And oh, and then the, the way that slope of this Fibonacci sequence actually shows, it should then continue to look at, through the window of this house. So then you stand right on the slope, right where you're supposed to do to complete the Fibonacci sequence. Look through the house, and then it shows a. Um, a, like a lantern being held in a tower somewhere high off in like a, a part of the city somewhere else and you're like oh okay that's where I'm supposed to go uh, and so you go there and you see somebody in the, in the street in the corner being like oh well you know the sun has to take a nap every once in a while that's why we live below How's the road to Thulmore bed? Oh, the road to Thulmore bed is just, well, you know, it gets a little wet, it gets a little dark, but we always make sure to bring our towel. <laughs> always bring a towel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to bring the towel. Nice to meet you. It was a pleasure to meet you as well. Don't forget your always towel. Always gotta have your towel. Always. Something dark and wet is coming. That doesn't sound. There's a bathhouse nearby <laughs> that you notice. There we go. <laughs> I mean, you guys are just—are you guys just following me? What are you oh, doing yeah. right now? Do you, you're trying. To Remember how I like Da Vinci coded finding the cult? Yeah. yeah. I'm doing the same thing. But you didn't just. But I'm just looking for like random those? things. Okay. Yeah, I follow you. This is interesting. Do we need to go back to the worms? Dark, wet? Not how you said what it was like when you came well, out? Well, I mean, you found a bathhouse, and, you know, we might as well take a bath anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go in the bathhouse. Okay, you go in the bathhouse. Um, it's a bathhouse. <laughs> um, there is, there's some uh, tubs of, like, 
what looks like dye, where people are dyeing some towel, some 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 towels and whatever. Um, there, you guys can go in. People will be like, oh, okay, you know, it's just like you know, a couple of copper for a bath. You guys can pay for a bath and go to one of the warm rooms. I need or, the hottest room possible. You need the hottest <laughs> room possible. Or is Sauna. it bathhouse, kind of like how the old Roman ones were set up, where it was like the hottest room, then the coldest room, then the tepid. It's room. like that. It's more okay. like yeah, and then like and uh, they're geothermally heated. Um, yeah, which one do you want to go? Medium, cold, or I'm hot? I'm going to the hottest one possible. You go to the hottest one? <laughs> I'll go to the coldest one. You want to go to the coldest <laughs> one? Okay, you guys split the party. Yes, here we go. <laughs> Bath monster, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> just a r- giant rubber just ducky. A, just <laughs> a, <laughs> exactly. Uh, in a towel that's geese. like, oh, oh, one more giant geese. You've <laughs> made it into my inner sanctuary. <laughs> Quackity quack. Um, we both the push coldest. a button on each side. You go to the coldest. The sun okay, is taking cold. a nap. It's dark and cold. Mm, and go yes, to I To the cold. Man. Okay, cool. Um, you guys can do whatever it is you guys do. I'm split literally up. just taking a bath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up taking a bath. Yeah, yeah. this feels good. It's been a while since you guys bathed yeah. yourself without like magic just being prestigitate and clean. You get to like fully scrub. You guys take a little bit, fully, fully scrub. Um, you make it to the coldest one. Eliezer, this is nice and cozy. You're good. You're comfy. Um, Excuse yeah. me, this one's still too cold. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just <laughs> there's yeah. just sort of like a big, there, there's just a wide dwarvish dude who just takes a couple coals and throws it into the water. Alright. I can throw up the CD already. It's just going, no, no, no. You, f- you find, you find like where the spring <laughs> is feeding into the pool and you just like stand under the hottest water <laughs> yeah. as possible. Completely destroy your sperm count, the whole deal. Um, <laughs> Because I didn't just pee ash, it's fine. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. Um, Great, so you, um, it looks like there is a person mopping up in the cold section, um, cleaning up, it looks like they're draining some of the smaller ones, Uh, and they go to like drain one of the smaller ones and they continue mopping, and then they're just gone. Like disappear, gone. Like dis- that go down to walk into one of the colder ones that they're draining off and mopping, and you turn around and they're just not there anymore. Like, they- and there's no, there's no, there's no other exit except for the one in and out. It's just gone. Uh, I'll go over there. Uh, you go over there. Um, you jump in. Yeah. You jump in. The stone moves a little bit. Um. Appears like there's a false bottom to this thing. Hey, Eleazar. Yep. You want to do something fun? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just come over here. All righty. You guys walk around in your birthday suits, being like, "Okay, I'm coming." <laughs> I'm not wearing a birthday suit. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong you wear clothes? Oh no. Yeah, so you're in your birthday suit. Oh, okay, I got you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you naked. You guys naked. You guys are naked. It's a bathhouse. Yeah, yeah. You guys are having a nice cold, cold bath, ice bath. Stand right here. Just stand right here. You're at the perfect height. <laughs> I point beside me. Uh huh. TJ. What the fuck do you want from me? I'm not gonna ignore that they have junk. Come on. And the height difference. It's it was the height. It was him pointing at the height. You told him to stand right there, and he said okay. So does, he stood right next to you. Does his Naked. extra weight trigger? Uh, so it doesn't seem to be like a pressure plate. It appears oh. to be like something that room, shifted. It needs to be like things, so. yeah. lifted. Oh, okay. I'll pull it up. You try to pull it up. It's way too heavy for you. So I'll grab it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you lift it up. It looks like there's a, uh, a like a cistern stairwell that goes further down. I wonder what's down here, and I start it's, walking down. Whoa, 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 whoa! I, go, I, I try to grab him. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. <laughs> are, you, are you the bad no, house? No, no, no! You're doing I'm your the thing. There. I was just uh, saying, like he's slippery. <laughs> let's uh, get some clothes on first, and uh, maybe go see what everyone else is doing. You guys go down the dark trying. stairwell, naked and wet. <laughs> <laughs> That's how horror movies start. <laughs> <laughs> 
How good was the road? This is the road. Let's grab a towel each if you wanted to grab a towel. Yeah, towel's not going to be enough to go trouncing down. To avoid like the porno themes that seem to be coming with the towels, I would get dressed. Yeah. Are you in the cold section too? Did you go off to run your own errands? I was in, so sure I'm there. Okay. That's fine. Um, I mean, we should probably get dressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I probably, yeah, yeah. Actually, I probably would, can, considering where I'm from. Yeah. Grab everybody, everybody else. To do it. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe not. All right, so you guys dry yourselves off a little bit, throw your clothes on. Interesting. Just start to head down <laughs> like, here. You guys are everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. Are you grabbing everybody else? You go yeah. and be like, hey, you're like, you're like. I found something cool. Let's uh, let's go in here and look at. But it's so nice something. and warm. It's so hot in here. Are you clean? No. <laughs> no, I'm a dirty dog. <laughs> um, I guess we have to go. All right. All right. All right. Uh, uh, Missy Pyle is in here too, but just as a person. But it's like Missy Pyle doing like this because the dog <laughs> the is dog like, keep battling back. <laughs> <laughs> so like you would just have like Missy sitting Pyle with sitting with her feet in the water, yeah. not like yeah. just sitting on the edge of the water. <laughs> And like people are just like, where's all this hair coming from? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm shedding. Okay. It's okay. It's fine. There's yeah, yeah. <laughs> here. Yeah, yeah, like you guys are. You guys have been through enough life-threatening uh, situations together that I'm sure the whole nakedness doesn't mean it doesn't. Anything. No, no. Give a shit. Um, it's uh, like, oh, you're not protected right now. Okay. <laughs> like, oh yeah, well, I'll make sure <laughs> that like, you don't get hit by a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> don't. Jeez. Um, great. So you guys all reconvene over by the cold baths. Uh, you guys find this stairwell that goes down. You whoop, almost you're good. Uh, go down. Um, there is. It ends at what looks like a dead end, but it looks like a door that's made out of stone. Just always. There's a belt. There's always a belt on. Um, you, you have a belt on. No, that's it. No, me. I guess when he was keeping his hammer. I, I I I didn't take my hammer off, so I still Never. had. I was in the bath with my. He was in the bath with the belt. <laughs> with your harness and just wearing a harness and your hammer. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, perfect. Um, you guys go down the stairs. Um, you're you're met with fun time. what looks like a doorway, but it's just like somebody stopped mining an area. Like it just stops right there. Uh, is there something behind there? I start looking for a switch. Okay. A loose stone. And roll investigation check. Yeah. What are oh, we I'm looking? Can do it. Figure it oh. out first. Okay. What are we can looking? I tell if any stone is not from there? Any you stone. Really is like that there? ability, do you? Don't you? <laughs> you have to use what you got. Yeah, that's true. Go ahead and roll it. Yeah, yeah. So see if you can. Between the conversation we had, you know, being in the bathhouse, uh -huh. does that count as a short rest? I, yeah. Okay. Sure, yeah, you guys sure is. Yeah, yeah, you guys had like, you guys had a full bath. Yeah. You guys, you gotta clean yourself, and you're like, fuck. Yeah, you, has, you haven't had any short rest yet. I mean, even the ones who've been cleaning ourselves with pressed digitation, because this is how I imagine it, I'm sure there's still like dust and dirt that we didn't realize was on us that are coming oh, out of the bath. Oh, for sure, yeah, you got, this is like the first time you've been like fully cleaned in like over a month, guys. It's been a mm. while. Things you've got a lot of road gunk on you and like stuff, it's like, stuff. you haven't, because yeah. you, you haven't really like scrubbed, because so you know when you get those layers of like dead skin, even cleaning yourself, that doesn't rub off. You guys got to scrub stuff. You feel like, oh, like you got some of like your, your, your summer coat is starting to like you know you're just shedding, shedding a little bit, getting, coat and getting the summer it, coat. you guys finally feel like fully awesome. clean. I mean, some of you like the cold water, some of you like the hot water, but whatever it woods, you guys are finally. You guys, you got to use soap. I've had Shampoo. soap with me. Yeah, but like real like scrubbing, fully submerged in the no, water. Just a bucket. Feel about like three pounds lighter when you get out yeah. after scrubbing. You just like that that just film is no longer on you anymore, you know? Um feels good. Um and now you're nice and clean going down into this thing. You got twenty one. Twenty one. Um what you see is uh what you notice is what looks like a couple shards of obsidian that are kind of like into the bit that look to be if different phases of the moon. Can I turn them so it looks like an eclipse? Uh, yeah, you turn them into the looks of like an eclipse, and there's like a. <laughs> as this doorway slides open, and you are greeted there by a dark elf individual with a blade out, chin up, looking at you expectantly. How goes the road to throw more bed? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
waves you in. Are Ergrim and Chiron still with us? Uh, if you want them to be. Well, Unless you just Chiron wanted to leave them in the bath. Where Ergrim was. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I potentially prefer to leave, you know, the stone worm out there. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just... Um, it, it, like it's it's up to you guys. You, you said, "Hey, we found something. Do you want us? Do you want them to come with, or do you want them to stay in the bath?" I was just telling. I would say leave Chiron behind. Yeah. By himself. Yep. Uh, in the baths. Okay. He paid us. I need Pernua. Yeah, Pernua. <laughs> Pernua can. You want Pernua easy. to stay with him? He'll stay yeah, with, she'll stay with him. That's you want Ermgrim that, to come with you guys? Yes. yes. Okay, you got it. Ermgrim comes with you. Right, don't leave the fox and the and the hen in the same area. Um, <laughs> yeah, Pernu is just like like Pernu is like. This is one of the few joys I have left, and as she's just soaking in that nice. Just make bath. sure nobody stabs him, please. Is the water around her getting like skin? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's she's she, hers more of like a, a, a magical phenomenon, but yeah, but uh, she she does like you know she cleans herself and she's just like she can still feel. Heat and cold and stuff. It just doesn't hurt as much as with other things. So she's like, "I, I'm good. You guys go. I'm, this is a, this is my moment." And Kyron's doing that one kid that's like got the scuba goggles on in the <laughs> in the in the tub oh, that's, that's doing like the and making bubbles and keeps diving in and out. And she's like that one mom that's just like just just let him do his I thing. I don't care. Yeah. Like I don't care. Like as long as they're not bothering me. <laughs> like, I think it's hilarious. Maybe, maybe that if Kyren I'm lucky, he'll drown adult. himself. <laughs> like we keep on forgetting that Kyron's like a fully. He's adult. my age. He like is, he's Argus is, is, age. Argus is, is only like a sixteen-year-old in like human years. He's like he's like well, you're like eighteen. Yeah. 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 Well, now yeah. after after yeah. an adult. Years. Yeah. I was already. Yeah. I was like eighteen. Oh, like, like, was like, like, a, like a teenager. Like, yeah. But uh, like, uh, dwarven ages, I think you're like. 40 or something. Or something. Um, yeah, I'm like 40. 40. And so now I'm like, like 57 from the ghost or 50. Yeah, yeah like that. just mm-hmm. getting into college type. It was 14, <laughs> yeah. it was 14 years. It was my so. first time. Like, but it's been the first. With Argus, he's so much more finished. grizzled and like mature. He's had I'm, gone through a lot more. Where I was just doing like, mercenary like, work. And I, cool! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to learn how to hide myself I mean, from a very young age. Yeah. Kyron Ky- also was aged 14 years with a single touch, too. Yeah, true. So I also cauterized my dad's arm cut when I was like 12. And then, uh, and then, and then you yourself. burned off your own. Yeah. So Some you guys <laughs> uh, enter this area. You find what appears to be another faction hideout. Um, uh, they're, um, they they move around quite a bit. Um, uh, you walk in and immediately get slapped right in the face uh, by a glove. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a gray glove? It is a gray sequin glove. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go like. Great glove, silver vein. Wasn't expecting to see you here. As he continues to like <laughs> slap you in the face with it. Why are you doing that? It's my new thing. Remember? We didn't talk about slapping people, did we? I will pull out my white Chris glove and I will start slapping him. <laughs> <laughs> you, how do you like it? I, this is white glove. <laughs> <laughs> you guys start battling each other with sequin gloves. Like, 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 <laughs> it's like two nerds slapping each other with 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 uh, gloves. Mine's bigger because it's meant for a human. Um, <laughs> that's really like each other. Enough. <laughs> so weird. And uh, there's a little like meow, meow, thing on this guy's shoulder is like the old gnome with the mushrooms all over, and the mimics go like, "What? What are you doing here?" A uh, couple of things. <laughs> One, I just, you know, want to make sure you hadn't stabbed him or anything. Why would I stab him? I don't know you people, and he's my brother. The hell does that mean? Number you two. People. What the hell? Number two. Have you guys been having problems with Illithid down well, below? Well, I mean, always, of course. More than normal? Different than normal? Stares at one of the, uh... Regards one of the dark, dark elves. We just uh, encountered a trio not too far from here. Not too far. Is and it? you're alive. Well, we we hid. Yeah. Oh. We didn't engage in any of that. No. And we let them eat the ones that were there, that they could see. Oh, how honorable of you. Um, well, brought one of them back. 
Come on. Well, hopefully it doesn't affect our timeline. We heard that something was happening. Would it help if we had someone you could stand in front of you as a true leader? Oh, well, we plan on being in this an, an, an anarcho uh, anarchy. We plan on having no, no gods, no kings. I, I thought you wanted to integrate yourselves into. We do. Um, we plan on completely taking over Steercrag. Um, in about Violently? Nice time, if necessary. But um, hopefully not. Hopefully, people will see reason. What if we had somebody you could, you know, rally behind who potentially has completed some a of figurehead? Yes. <laughs> one easily manipulated. One that is <laughs> completely very easily manipulated. Yes. About as easy as him. And I'm going to point at gray gloves. <laughs> what? And has How already completed the challenge. Or at least one All of three? Them. Just the first. Um, sure. He's upstairs in the bath. That's part of the reason we have to let the other ones get. I'm there. sorry. You believe there's an individual who has the right and the blood to rule, and you left them alone upstairs in the bath? Not, Not alone. alone. No. We're not dead. Who do you else? take me for? There's a dead person guarding him. What? <laughs> That's not important. That's not important. And we brought the one who wants to murder them with us, so... Why are we... You give me so much stress. And so I, much information. Just, just I thought Ankyli would have filled you in by now. Oh, well, I heard there's, there's a bigger piece somewhere now? That was mm -hmm. the purple worm that we mm -hmm. killed. So you, so you did? Yes. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, we're, we don't want to do battle. We'd rather do this peaceful. That. We don't want, actually, we don't want to control Steer Trag at all. We just want to not be punished and yes. executed by these yes. people. We don't give a shit. But, you know, if we make people believe that we would, then people get, you know, all up in their britches, and they're more off to, it's more like a deterrent, you understand? If, they, if we'd be like, oh, well, we better give them what they want, or they could cause a ruckus. It sounds almost like what you could do if you support somebody who's been completing the challenges, too. Yeah, well, we've been trying to do it by the rules, and look over where that got us. The smaller clans are in the same boat that you are. Oh. What if between the two of you... We banded together. And you put someone out front that supported you, but also had a legitimate claim... Somebody who maybe, you know, stopped a worm attack in the center of town the other day. Mm. An unnamed hero. A newly discovered stone worm. Mm. We could potentially seize the beans of power and redistribute it through a different form, maybe through a council. This is I'm getting ahead of myself, but we wouldn't be the, we place. wouldn't have lords and yeah. titles and all this other thing. It would be something else. It would be the people ruling themselves. You could carve out your own place here. I don't know if you're going to be able to get rid of the lord completely. It's been that way for a long time without violence. I'm saying. But if you this put isn't a, a bad idea. But if you put, like, say, a figurehead there, and then have a council or committee that the people run, that basically tells them what to do. Well, the the obvious problems are the three biggest houses: Martanic, Herak, and and Stoneworm. Well, Vogel. Vogel. Yeah. Well, yes. And Stoneworm, I suppose. Well, this one would be from Stoneworm. Yes, Vogel is actually the most. They're, they're a little embarrassed right now, though. You may be Airbnb. able to pick up one of the two smaller of the three. Herak or Martanic? You think? They seem to have already been courting the lesser clans. Interesting. So we could consolidate power of inferno. Everyone except for Vogel. Did you hear about Vogel's from what we understand. failing the other day, though, too, during that attack? It seems all of them are worried about being left. I heard about some injuries and in an incident with... Uh, supposed worm attack? Yes. Vogel's champion didn't attack the worm while it was happening. Oh. 
I heard something to that effect, something less than honorable. This is good. This is good. We can use this. We can use this. This is wonderful. And he stamps and a bunch of poof, spores go out. Like, oh, we to get used to that. Um, so th- we could totally use this. Um, what do you want out of this? You to kill as few people as possible. I'm, I'm okay with that. We understand. Anything there's else? A lot of Vogel in charge. Yes. No, no Vogel. Or the current stone. So if it war. comes down to it, do we kill Vogel? Or do we exterminate Vogel, or just get rid of the ones that are the worst? Um, I don't know. Uh, his champion has someone else's dibs killing his champion. I understand. There's a personal vendetta involved. Fair enough. I'll stay out of it. Who do you think we should approach first, Her- Herak or Martanic? Which do you think is would be more open for reception with that? Well, or, or do we you, divide and conquer? Were you the one that heard them talking through the wall? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, so did Cole and Trishani. Okay. Yeah. Trishani was the one who was sober. <laughs> also, that. <laughs> it's true. Cole sobered up after that. Well, whichever you decide is fine with us. Or we just have to be prepared for whichever one we don't decide to possibly align themselves with Vogel. It sounded like they were aligning with each other. They were oh. They were worried, just as the small clans are worried, about being left out. What if... And since you no longer want to be left out, that is some nice common ground there. We could do a revolution. It could... It could be our first step into the light. We are, our peoples, uh, the S- Calderan, the Smooth Hands, and the, and the LS3 are working together to bring these, I don't want to say the minor deities, but just to, to bring these powers of, of our virtue and our faith to make it so that we can live free into a more public light. So we can dance among the moonlight, that whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Moon is sweat, whatever. But uh, a lot of our, uh, a lot of our uh, followers of Elistre, he uh, found that they are more invigorated with their powers of persuasion, their constitutional wherewithal, uh, their speed and dexterity when times of lunar cycles are about. So, in Three days. If our calendars are correct during the solar eclipse in three days. Although we are underground, we are still affected by the same tidal forces. Uh, so we figure that's our best time to make a move. Whether it be Sound reasoning. through politics or by force. We'll have better chances either way. But we should probably lay the groundwork for which one we plan on. Again, I, I think it's worry about you guys using force with what happened to your last sect. I do, too. But about in the face of extinction? I also worry about I understand how having to follow underground with your deity. I feel you mean that. Do you know anything that could help? Also, you should, I think it's optimistic for us to think that if we approach one of them, the other one isn't going to go so try to consolidate power with Approach the them at the same time. The That's easier said than done, but possible. Mm. Trishani, do you remember the conversation and whether one of them over the other might you be more res- receptive to an alliance with the lesser clans and these folk. The, the other thing I worry Sorry. about is if mm-hmm. take it through violence, was the triumvirate try and step in and correct things? That is another thing that we must think about. Could, they could send a whole Razor Fang platoon out here to See. just squash a rebellion if they wanted to. Or turn you, or turn you into stone. That too. We've seen them do that.
Well, it appears you have more experience with this than we do at the moment, as far as understanding the political landscape of Steercrag. Or at least you have a linchpin that we don't. So it seems to be of us that we work together. Yes. Who gave my child that bone? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's one of the also, I've right. just been feeding him jerky. <laughs> oh, God. Is there anything particular he likes? Fine? Yeah. Is there anything it's particular? Okay. They're carnivores. Well, yeah. I'll eat your finger if you're not careful enough. I, yes. I, it, no special, like, type of meat? Herb blend seasoning. Eh, sometimes they they are they are what they eat. Sometimes quite literally. So uh, it's whatever, if, if it's sometimes it's if it's a wardrobe, they like to eat leather because like leather coats and stuff like that. If it makes sense, and it's a little poetic. It's, you're probably on the right track. Thanks for the tip. They're weird like that. <laughs> if it's a chest, sometimes they like treasure. Edible treasure, things that would be meat or adventurers. They're a little, they're poetic. It's weird, but it works. So you mm. should be giving your egg eggs, <laughs> 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 or whatever I want to turn them into. Chicken. He's been trying to turn into jerky. <laughs> just, a, just a strip of jerky with a mouth. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, that's how we deal with embers. <laughs> So he has completed the first trial. Great. to the next ones. So then we have the trial of the tavern and the trial of the mind. Trial of the tavern? Is the trial of the tavern what I think it is? It's a silly bar game. Yes, okay. And the last one was? Trial of the mind. How, how does this bar game work? Well, you turn the tables upside down, and you sit on top of the tables, and then you try to surf them along bodies that get rolled Table surfing? Ground. Yes, table That's surfing. an actual trial? It's about camaraderie and leadership. We used to do that back in Thule Moor Bed. Yeah, but the, the, there's a way it goes way back to work hard, play hard. Don't get me into it. Well, the play hard I've done before. <laughs> I mean, table surfing's just... Something you started when you were a kid. Yeah, I, I well, it was over the years, happy. it's gotten a little bit more dangerous. Heck, you, Sometimes you, you, they add. You put some gut buster in somebody and they'll crowd surf. Some <laughs> boiling wort and stuff like that, but you know. Uh, um, we always had throwing coals and ash at each other. <laughs> so it was the trial of, you know, strength, and, and Hunter is, was, the, was the worm, or to ride one, which is even better. Um, well, well, the stone worms were the ones that were like that. Then we have the trial of the tavern, which is camaraderie and leadership and, and teamwork. And then we have the trial of the mind, which is a little bit more ambiguous. It's more of a trial uh, to see if the intellectual properties of the individual can withstand <laughs> We have an old. How do we cheat? Well, I don't. But <laughs> <laughs> Steercrag keeps an old helm uh, made from the skull of an illithid, um, and those that can resist its sway pass the trial of the mind. I admit, there may be a way to do that then, similar to how we make have our tree sleep at yeah. night, love. Or couldn't you just? Tell him to ignore it? If he listens to me and not the I head. mean, tell him to ignore it. Or you. Yeah. Yes, I can try. You just gotta listen to me and not it. No, I no, mean, suggestion. forcefully okay. tell him. Oh, that's him. <laughs> like, I mean, tell him. He, he doesn't seem that wise, right? So, like. Mm. And camera pans Maybe. up. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I think he can. Uh, we can help him find the end of these. He's found a paddleboard and he's kicking in the pool. <laughs> Keeps putting his head to the side so he can yeah. make motorboat noises. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I so just finished digging through coughing. my notes. Mortanic. Mortanic was the one that seems like more likely to align with lesser clans. All right. 
Because they Mortanic it is then. We'll start laying some groundwork and you do as well. Um, the idea, I believe, if we're going to do this, there is scuttlebug that people have already started to try to complete the first, to try to complete the uh, stone worm, tri which, which the the worm trial, which I guess that was you guys, yeah. right? Well, there was another team that tried. Yeah. Well, they tried to take our. Kill. And that's when the elephants came. Oh, that might have been us. Yeah. Did you send five? Yeah. Were they with the smaller? Well, well we, we got we one. We brought one back. Yeah. Fortunately, the other four were not so fortunate. Damn, if you want to have their hands. What? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Look at what Moonchild is chewing on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. No, look. We're starting to reach levels of sunk cost fallacy here. The more resources and people we start to put into trying to make this a bastion of safety for us, is starting to become more than it's worth. So. Well, we've just taken you back in a step the correct direction. That's correct, but I need, you need to be aware of that if, should some really bad complications come around, you we might away. have to bail and try somewhere else. Just like Minheim. Meaning that at any moment, you need to be aware of that we could be. Fortunately, I hate to put it this way, leaving you high and dry. I mean, wouldn't be the first time. If you could at least not. try to hang out until the eclipse. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's I believe our best chance. I think. Uh, here's the deal. If you can figure out a way to make sure that the trials go in a certain order, so that the last trial of the mind lands on the day of the eclipse we'll have a far better chance. The tavern, we'll figure out. We can figure it out. Like, you know, whatever happens, happens. You you guys look like you know how to party. Is there a big table surfing night <laughs> Good of the week? A big table, no, no, just any, I mean, today is Gondar. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fighting on Zyla. No fighting on today. Oh, today is Zyla. Today is Zyla. Oh. Um, so we can fight and then today. tomorrow is yeah, Honda. The... And then Kusha. And then y your Uriel, I Uriel is the 33rd, which is the solar eclipse. But I mean, there's no like table surf Kusha? <laughs> no. What? I don't, Does it I don't have to know. be a table? Well, I mean, there's. Like, I'm not a sports person. That's a sport. Well, we, I don't we know do that, that there's no fighting on Gondar, so maybe there was other things. Maybe I don't know. Look, all I say, like, it, here's the deal. Get the table surfing done before the thirty third. Yes. See if you can get finagle something of maybe you can find out who's in charge of the third trial, because that can't happen until someone has completed the other two. So would, does it have to be the? Claiming person who's writing the table. Oh, you mean the captain of the ship? Yes. Yes. The claimant. Okay. So we, we nail his feet into. Oh dear. Hog, hog, <laughs> that's fine, that but I like where you're going. <laughs> Yeah. Can you pick up can some sovereign glue and just glue into the. You yeah, can that's be actually him. Where, That's actually where my brain went. <laughs> I, I can't make myself that short. That's true. You can with a fun feather cap. <laughs> <laughs> Just like go waving. <laughs> <laughs> we'll brainstorm some things. It'd, it'd be a worm. <laughs> as, as long as nobody throws something through him, I can make a version of him appear there. I'll leave that up to you. We'll get it done before We're the thirty-third. We're going to work. And we'll set up the helm trial on the 30th. If you can work out things in order to try to get people who are in charge of the trials to have them on certain days or whatever, that's your job. We will approach Herak, is what you asked us to do? Mortanic. Mortanic. We will approach Mortanic and see if we can convince them over to our side of the supporting in the meantime. If you hear anything about Herak in this way... I wouldn't be surprised if they start to work, start working with Vogel. Now, 
What about stonework? Well, the one we have is a newer stoneworm. As in, he oh. used to be a Carrick. A younger, more promising. So we don't have to oust, we just have to put it in the place that there are more... He's from a different That line. they are the proper heir. Yes. He's, he's right. from a more... What if... Um, direct a, a direct, yeah. Pedigree. More, yes. Mm -hmm. What if we could get the current stoneworm to adopt him as his heir? Ooh. That sounded like a you thing. No. I mean, I think having the the current stoneworm has some debts to pay. Mm -hmm. Right. So so we we get him to adopt and then we let Grimmy take him somewhere. <laughs> Not the older one, not the younger one. I'm down. <laughs> uh, and that's where we're going to end our session, guys. Um, as you guys kind of figure out what it is you're going to do and try to finally, hopefully get to a conclusion, this whole political situation within the next two or three days. What's going on here in Steer Crag? Great. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, we will uh, see you next time. And as always, stay safe out there. Bye. Bye. Bye.